Stand by. Greetings, boys and girls. We are here today in the state of Texas. To shoot our first competition we've ever shot in. This is correct. And today we'll be joined by two Grandmaster pistol shooters, and they are going to teach us how to shoot faster and more efficiently. Okay, we are at the World Pistol Shootout with two men. Well, uh, yeah, we'll count you. We'll, we're going to count you, Gio. Legally. Yeah. <laughs> uh, an adult. How old um, are you? 19. He's going to destroy us. 19. And um, so you are both competition shooters. Yep. Yes, you have a jersey, so you're le yep. le Team legit. Team Infinity. Uh, I've been shooting USPSA for about nine years now. So when you were 10? 10. 10. Yep. Well, hot damn, everyone. Yep. It's impressive. Yeah. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I've been shooting competition for about nine years now. Uh, I started way later than Gianni. At does. 10, I was going to say. He also <laughs> at 10. It's funny, I have a picture of him holding a trophy about this tall, and he beat me as a grown man. And uh, he, he reminds me of that every now and then. It's pretty embarrassing. That is awesome. Yeah. So today we are... Here's the deal. As as you guys know, we, we've talked in advance. Uh, me and Chris are a couple assholes that know nothing about what we're about to do. Right. So we need, like, the crash course. Like... Give us the the competition shooting 101 so that we try to suck as little as possible. Guys, we'll be with the video momentarily. Quick thanks to Sagara Gear. I'm wearing it underneath my competition rig. Right. I got a 30-inch yeah. waist, and that's what I'm wearing. There they, you go. They make it for people with 30-inch waists. Yeah. Um, and there's a code you guys can plug in, 1911 Syndicate. It's all lowercase, no spaces. Saves you 10% off their entire store. Great gear. We've done a couple videos on them. Yeah, um, they last forever. Yeah, we'll link those below so you guys can check it out. But thanks to them, on with the video. Safety is the, the first thing because we are running at full speed with hot guns. Yep. And so following the, the safety rules will keep you shooting throughout the entire match. Um, when, when it's your first time, such it is for you guys, um, you're going to be nervous. Nobody can really cares how you perform other than yourself. We just care about not putting new holes in anybody. For right? sure. So so kind of keep that in your mind so you can not be as anxiety ridden because it, it makes you shaky. It's exciting, it, you know, and whatnot. So the first thing we need to talk about is called the 180. Okay. And the 180 um, goes parallel with the backstop. Okay? okay. So if I turn this way, this is not my 180. My 180 is still back here. Okay. And as long as you maintain your muzzle downrange, whether you're running to the left or to the right, you're good to go, right? But you don't want to be running like this if I'm running to the right, because now my muzzle's pointing at spectators, bad time, right? Sure. So always keep that in mind. Um, never handle hot guns until you get the make ready. Uh, never handle your gun, period, until you get the make ready command on the line. Okay. Um, that just ensures nobody's handling a gun uh, up range while you're you're down range. Sure. The uh, Gianni or I will give you the make ready command, and that's when you can load your gun, check your sight picture, and um, and all that good stuff. We're not going to start from holster today. We're going to start from the table to make it a little bit yeah. easier. Not yeah. oh, like and, children, like children. Yeah. <laughs> We're teaching the youth here, <laughs> man, yeah. Chris. Uh, okay. Rule set. What do we need to know? So this is your alpha zone. This is your Charlie zone, and this is your delta zone. No beta zone. No. No. We so that was the that was, but now they got rid of that. Oh, was it because all the men were getting called beta, beta males? No, uh, it's because the classic the classic target has never had a Bravo, but the other targets do. Understood. Uh, but they got rid of. Based on clarification. So minor, your alpha zone is worth five points. Your Charlie zone is worth three points, and your delta zone is worth one point. What is minor? So minor is 125 power factor or more. At this match, major is going to be 150 power factor or over. Okay, How next question. How do we come to the power factor? What am I? <laughs> You're going to be shooting minor with the other, with, with CO guns. The CO. Yeah, carry out uh, limited optics. Carry okay. Optics. Okay. This is performance carry. Okay. 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 okay, okay. Okay, got it. So I'm um, minor. Yep. So the balance of speed and accuracy, where do we find that balance? Like, do I go as fast as I fucking can all the time, or? No, I would say shoot as fast as you can shoot alphas. Okay. Okay. And, and of course, and the... go ahead. It's a personal preference on when to speed up or not, but we should always be focusing on we want. We want to. I want an alpha. Yeah. But a Charlie's not necessarily it's not life bad. Or, nope. It's not life or death. For example, Charlie. if you see that you shot a Charlie, you call a Charlie and you leave, and you're thinking about it, don't come back to make that up because now the no. time you've added negated adding an alpha. 
don't don't worry too much about your scoring since this is your first time. Like what we ma mainly care about is no new holes in anybody, including yourselves. Cool. But um, your first time out, you guys are going to love the battle between each other and compare yeah. the scores at the end. Mm. Like, that's going to be a hoot. Like, you will generally care more about that than what you did overall. For sure. Right? Yeah. Take your time and have fun. Cool. Word. Right on. Right. Well, Just not we... while you're on the clock, though. Don't take your time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We already start shooting. All right. We'll reset. So we're we'll going to give you guys yep. three minutes. We'll give them four. Four minutes yep. to walk the stage, which is what will happen tomorrow. Okay. Um, that's four minutes. After that, you are, you are not allowed to be on the stage until you are the next shooter up. Okay. That keeps you from getting in the way, and it's, it allows the next shooter up to get his walk through, his or her walk through. We're, we're just shooting this stage right here, Jake. I'm assuming they're the going to tell us what we're no. shooting. I don't know. Yeah. No. Everything thing, this no, way, forward. Yeah. Yeah. And you yeah. need to stay within the confines. Pretend there is an imaginary line that goes all the way across here. You're not going to need to exceed that. Yeah, from the red to the red. Yep. yep. So we don't care what Perfect. order you do it in, just have at it. So we'll give you okay. four minutes. Four okay. minutes. And all the targets we're shooting are paper targets and steel. Yep, you got two yep. poppers. And all the targets will be two shots. Okay. Oh, shapes. Forgot that one thing. You have to shoot at everything. So don't think you're going to be a hero. Run out there, shoot one target back. I got the fastest time. I win. That all these penalties it. will offset They're everything and you thing. will zero the stage. Yeah. And are you guys going to run this before we do? No. No, we're going to run it first. Oh, okay. okay. We're going to run it first and we'll recover from the laughter. Recover, coach. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dare you. It. All right, so. If this fucker. How does this shit work? And I can't go over this this bar, right? Is there a rule that says I can't hold onto this and do this? Yeah. So a good rule of thumb is if typically if the fall line is actually like touching the wall, yeah, you can theoretically brace the wall. Um, but if it's not like this case, if you touch the wall and actually shoot, you'll get a procedural. Okay, so I got so you don't want to touch the wall. Oh God! How the fuck do you do that shit? Okay. This is as a lefty. How dare you, as a left-handed shooter, do this? I'm probably gonna shit the bed on this. I thought differently than what was explained. So, what I think I'm gonna do is from here engage the targets that I can, and then work my way from right to left. So that's my plan. Let me tell you how the pace of this stage is going to sound for me. I go down. I feel great, and I feel I'm going to do decent. Compared to the other professional shooters here, it's going to be dog shit. But I'm just here to have fun, man. We know that. So we're going to have you guys do paper, rock, scissors. Who's going to go first? Okay. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Ready? Oh, now he's changing the rules. <laughs> You're off first, buddy. No, it's best two out of three, right? We no. want to clarify that. Oh, we what? That. <laughs> so who's going first? You're going to go first. Okay. All right, All right, clear the range. You got timer? Hey, just a reminder, though. Just don't fuck it up. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jake. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. Uh, out. I'm out. Oh, alpha percent. Mike, Alpha Charlie, two Alpha, two Alpha, two Alpha, two Alpha, Alpha Charlie, two Alpha, and Alpha Charlie. So that's what you can kind of look for with an RO when you walk around. Is you can, you know, if he makes a call, you can confirm yourself and make sure that the that your round's not touching the, the line. Line, line breaks count. What's that? Line breaks count. All it has to do is the grease ring has to touch the perf and it will count. The perf. He's a big fan of line breaks. So I say they separate the men from the so, boys. So everything is great. I mean, the only thing is your mic and everything else is good. Your safety was fantastic. Your hits were pretty good. Um, I love the talking to yourself. That's what all <laughs> people awesome. do when they're new. It's great. We do it still, but we're like internally yelling at ourselves. <laughs> yeah. But but that was awesome. So. Yeah, I uh, forgot about that. Yeah. Flat out was going to the middle target and was like, oh shit, there's one. This is a really weird start position, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Gotta Stand by.
Nick, we're finished. I'm one intro player. Guys, we'll be back with the video momentarily. A couple different ways you can support the channel. Uh, number one, we've got Patreon. That's a great way that is essentially you just give us money. Um, give it. But you do get behind the scenes content. You get uh, giveaways. We have special swag classes that we do. Um, then we also have the real estate side of the business, yeah. um, which is fantastic. The best way you can support us. It's not a joke. We're actually real estate agents. He lives in Phoenix. So if you call us to buy a house in Phoenix, uh, that's I'm your guy. What's on the other end of the phone? Um, and then we work all over the country, including Texas, where we are now. So anyway, hit us up, 1911syndicate.com. Back to the video. Range is clear. Time is 32.14. You have two alpha. Alpha, two alpha, alpha Charlie, two alpha, two alpha, alpha Charlie, alpha Charlie, and two alpha. I feel like this is really close right now. So with your with your My mic, mic. Yep. you would be behind even with that little time separation. No, we didn't put it in the pad. What was his time? It was his was thirty point eight five. Thirty point eight five. Thirty two point one four. That that might be close with the mic. There were things we saw that you guys did that we knew was going to happen right away right. like, like we, we set we, it up very specifically yeah like like because we lived it sure, we, we see it every sure. day you guys are not like abnormal like it's just the efficiencies you guys don't think about do you know how to play pop, rock paper scissors yes okay on three is when you call it right okay one two three oh, oh, what did you see that oh would you see you You're going oh, first. No, that is a bullshit man. You bitch in my place. <laughs> Stand by. If you're finished on the trophy. It would beat us on time. It's gonna be close. I think it's timeless. 1535. Shit. Shit. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two Charlie. Uh -oh. This is where you get the overlay. Uh oh. Okay. See, this looks bad at first, but when you come up to it, this is the best thing you could ever have. Not only did he get the hit, but it's also an alpha. So that is two alpha, even though he was pushing the edge well, there. I would say this competition's bullshit if you count that. But it's just my opinion. Uh two alpha? Alpha Char? Alpha Char Trigger Freeze? Yep. Best. Alpha Char. Nailed it, dude. Thanks for Got coming out today. Yeah, of course. I'm going to kind of get my start position to see how that's going to offset my body. I'm kind of falling back a little bit. Question. Yes, sir. When you do that, do you arch your back or does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> so grab the gun. So one thing I'm thinking about is I know my spot on the ground that I need to start deaccelerating and pointing out to the target, which we'll probably use this here. So as you can see, I'm getting low. I'm stabilizing. I'm going to break my shot. I'm going to put my foot on the fault line and I'm going to break this shot off balance. Hopefully I don't get trigger freeze and I get both shots off. If not, I'm kind of hosed, but it's worth the, the aggressiveness like this. And then I land on this foot and I push off on this foot, right? So now I know that's my next target I'm coming into. Going to look at the ground, going to deaccelerate. I have to take my time on that tuxedo. That is a hard shot. Okay. Take my time. I start exiting on an easy open paper. I wait for that popper ting. As I turn, I'm dropping the mag, I'm grabbing the mag, and then I'm gonna fumble it because I'm running, right? I'm gonna reload. I'm gonna struggle to ignore this popper, but it's right there in my face, okay? So, but I'm gonna ignore it. I'm gonna come in on the nice easy open paper as I'm bobbling, right? And then I know I have to do this. And then I'm gonna keep the gun safe. I'm gonna pump. I know I'm coming into a popper. I'm gonna try not whiff five shots at the popper, right? I'm gonna stabilize. And then I'm gonna split hard here, right? And finish, and then hopefully I didn't look like an idiot. <laughs> what I'm gonna be curious to hear is why aren't you guys starting on the other side? Well, we'll go over that. Yeah. One. Because it's always easier to go left to right. Wow, dude, you're next level. It's how I mark my territory. Hey, oh <laughs> man. Are you ready? Stand by. Fourteen two. Oh my God! What was it? Fourteen two. Oh my goodness. Two alpha. What two alpha. Half an alpha. Alpha Charlie. Alpha Charlie. Two alpha. Ah! Two alpha. 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 Two alpha.
two oh. alpha. <laughs> Two alpha, two alpha, and I'm assuming it's that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <coughs> no taking pain off drop. Oh, yeah, sure. Real quick. So, real quick. I think this starts with an M, right? Yes. Real quick, he'd be disqualified. <laughs> be cued right there for touching the target. Hey. Oh, hey, that's hey, good to know. How can you prove I touched that target? <laughs> you Wait. missed on this? Yeah. So, Did basically, what happened this entire huh. is I came in nervous because you guys are watching. Interesting got off plan but as i after i after you take your first couple shots i don't know if you guys notice this you really calm down you start going to cruise control mode i did not you did not <laughs> did not did not did not happen oh. considered an alpha mic yeah. so let's talk about um Thank you for that, that let's talk about those critiques down. and then have you guys yeah run this again okay. so it's always a good idea check your gun right you want to take a sight picture take some trigger presses you want to feel the gun make sure everything's good to go and something that i do is Barney around. So maybe take, um, if you have enough ammo for a stage, I like to sometimes take uh, my purse mag if it's full, take the round out, load the gun, right? And then put your mag away and Barney around. That way you have one extra round, right? Oh. So that's always an important thing. Uh, it's habit. Every time I'm up here, I always Barney around. Okay. Barney? So, or I've never heard this term. Yeah, before. I've heard it just top off. Top yeah. off. Yep. Uh Top the round off. Okay. That one extra round could uh, could save you. So make sure the gun, the, the mat comes in and out smooth. You want to make sure it's seated. Uh, sometimes people will press check it, make sure it's around the chamber, good to go, safety on, guns ready to go. That way you know there's nothing's gonna happen. Nothing is more embarrassing than you take your first shot and you look through your arms at your mag. For and sure, it happens. Yeah. Oh yeah, it happens. Yeah. Also, sometimes um, I do this is I take my reload mag. And I just, after I, after I rack around, because that changes things, right? I'll put it in to make sure it's actually gonna be reloadable. We call it reloadable. This mag will actually hold more than what I put in it because I wanna be able just to throw it in and not have to be like seating it and whatnot. So, okay. So <laughs> coming into position, when there's a target, for example, you can see that from way over here, right? So when we're coming into position, you want the gun up, you wanna be ready to go, the trigger press. So as soon as your foot touches, you can be shooting. Okay, on this target, this is a heavy lean. Um, when you come in, you can do like what Eric did and it's called a hard exit. So a hard exit would be, or a, or a drop out. You're basically just dropping your leg and getting your power to move forward. So one, one thing too is once you get to a certain level, you start thinking ahead. Like right now, what you guys are doing is you're thinking about this target, mm. right? Now you're thinking about this target. I'm thinking about this target, and as I'm doing this, I'm now I'm gonna start focusing on this. I'm still doing what I need to do here, except for the mic, yeah. right? But I'm thinking about this target, pop, pop, and then I'm gonna push off on this leg. I'm setting this leg up to push off. So coming into this yeah. position, what we wanna do is it's a good idea. We know we're gonna leave. Usually it's not a great idea to leave on steel, but in this case, it's a lot smoother than trying to mess with it up there. So coming in, you can be shooting this one. And right when I'm done with this target, I want to post up for that one because it's a hard cover. It's a little tighter of a shot. I'm posting up and I'm going to start moving out a little bit on that open target. But I pause just briefly for that for that last popper. As soon as that's done, I was going to go into the result. So one more thing. I, that's a better array to talk about this. But since we're here, we'll talk about this. One thing I noticed that you did, Jake, um, either here or there, you went to this target over here. And then back over here. It a lot right? of movement. Yeah. I think I forgot about it. I think that's what happened. Okay. And that, that's yeah. something we see a lot. It's not the forgetting, but that's like their stage plan. Like, I want to shoot all the easy stuff and then I'll shoot. Sorry. Oh. Anytime you're adding this, you're that transition. You're adding time yeah. and you're not shooting. You shot so much from yeah. the table. Yeah, you yeah. hung out. Up so there. not only, so we like to eat up the draw, right? It doesn't matter if there's a target right there. Now, if we have to come back to that, um, we're going to lead it. Just run away from it, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so, because the draw, what's your what's your average draw time? Uh, high nines. High Maybe nines. A, okay, a we'll see it a second. second. I'm second. like 1.3. Okay, so that's 1.3 seconds. I'm not doing anything but grabbing my gun when I could be grabbing my gun and going somewhere where I have to go. Right? With you, you shot. How many yards did you add to each target there? What is that? Eight, ten yards. Mm -hmm. So you made more difficult shots because you have to come here to anyways because of this target right so why not put yourself eight yards closer to that super hard target yeah right so if i mean it, i got alphas but yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you guys were very accurate and you were very safe which is fantastic now let's let's get more efficient on your next run and sure
Go, so go ahead and we'll changing, give you a... Changing stage plan will easily eliminate. A couple seconds. 10, 12 seconds. More than that. Way more. Minus any, you know, yeah. foo bars, but more than that. So I know in between the yep. back versus... Are you ready? Now. Yep. Stand by. Couldn't find the dot. Can't find the dog. Ah, dude, I shitty now. I got this in the back. If I get any other, I'll get it. Hey, if you're finished, time on that. 34.5. So you slowed down. Two alpha, two alpha. <laughs> Two alpha. We've got alpha Charlie. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. Alpha Charlie. You, you see where he's going right now? It's going to a dark place. That works. I live in the dark. It's okay. I live in the dark. Just you, can, you know, we self can tell by how pasty you are. <laughs> well, it's actually true. I don't have a lot of lights in my house. Blood sucking son of a bitch. Yeah, to play are you ready? Stand by. If you are finished, if I know, I know the shit that I missed. Which one was it? Far yeah. right. Yeah. You know, tell us what you know. I know that I missed a target. Like, what do you mean miss? Like, didn't? Shoot. No, no, no. Didn't shoot. Okay. So didn't shoot at it. So not only do you get two mics, but you get an additional penalty called failure to shoot at. Reason being is that stops you from skipping targets to game a quicker time. Did you came in on the paper? And then you transferred over to the popper and you came all the way back here. Oh, it's yeah. very minimal. Dude, you missed two targets? You didn't shoot this one or this one. <laughs> yeah. No, I just ran past this. I just kept running. Wow. I just kept running. Two alpha, two alpha. Then here we go. Two mic, one failure to shoot at. Two mics, one failure to shoot at. Two alpha, two alpha, two alpha, two alpha. And it was a 24.9, so you're Okay. Getting faster. So let's look at the upside. But well, and you don't shoot you, at everything. You, <laughs> look at the upside, guys. You skipped a whole position. I think so. we're going real negative on that run. And I think the reality is, moved a lot faster. Good reload. All clean hits. That's three positives. There's only one negative, which is I didn't shoot all of the targets. The, the negative would be if this was a high threat scenario, like he likes to allude to, two bad guys would come over and just dome shot. I don't know that they were bad guys, okay? <laughs> it all comes down to the third run. Stand by. If you're finished, well, we're gonna make a competition shooter out of you. This is better. I'm happy with the reload. I was 26.14. Okay, what was your very nice. first run? 32. Here we go. Ready? Let's see. Two alpha. So alpha delta. Miss. Two alpha. Two alpha. Two alpha. We got two alpha. Okay. This Look stupid really judge. Close. This stupid judge. Okay. Let's let me take a look. Let me take a look at paper rock. And this is where you could say you could pull out an overlay and check your deal, but I think I think that's going to be a Charlie, but the, you would definitely want to ask for an overlay on I challenge it. Because you know what? You may have a generous RO who gives it to you. You're not out anything. You're just asking politely for him to look at it. Him or okay. 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 Two alpha, two alpha. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by.
If you're finished, I'm out sure clear. Range is clear. Time is 28.03. So you did two reloads. Yeah, because on that one, I reached too far back. Oh, right. I meant to grab this one. Oh, and it wasn't loaded. To top up. No, it was. But I grabbed this one knowing it was not full. Oh, okay. So that's why I had to do the second reload. Gotcha. Nope. Okay. Because that's when I took my Barney off. And it only had like five other rounds in it. Oh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep. Injured. Two Alpha, two Alpha, Alpha Charlie, two Alpha. Uh, that's an Alpha Charlie. Two Alpha, two Alpha, about? Alpha Charlie, and Alpha Charlie. If it. Yours was. It was almost as fast as when Jake skipped two whole targets. Yeah. Almost as fast. One, two. No one can beat that round, please. 26.14. I think this is the one you just did. Okay. Yep. This is three, two, one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we can. Uh, yeah, let's go. Put it off and have work. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, this is really our preparation. A lot for of fun. The, uh, competition, yeah. I think, in three rounds. Hopefully, we got a little bit better. I guess we'll see. They're tallying up the scores now. So yeah. that's that. Tomorrow, we run the competition. Um, final thank you to FLP, our dudes over there. Yep, Firearms Legal Protection. Their concealed carry insurance, but not only for concealed carry scenarios. If you happen to have to use a rolling pin to defend your life, it is justified. Table. This table. Just don't some dude. Yeah. As long as it's justified, they will legally cover you. They also have instant cleanup. So if we make a little mess here, they're going to send someone out to clean it. So if you carry a firearm or are interested in protecting yourself while you carry a firearm, Firearms Legal Protection, they're your guys. There's a code, 1911, plug it in, saves you like 30, 35% off the subscriptions. Really good service. Check it out. Thank them for their support. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's it. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys.